And now let's turn to the men and the women who are helping China to grow. In today's uh, China Hero series, we show you a pioneer in China's education industry. International education has indeed been growing rapidly in China as an increasing number of Chinese parents are sending their children to secondary schools to get ready for university studies abroad. And Dr. Liu Yuyan has witnessed its rapid growth and has been making great efforts in improving its quality by teaching students to be creative. Our reporter Tang Bo went to Camford Royal School, founded by him, to see how students there have been learning. Structuring learning on their own. These students are presenting their reports on some physics phenomenon. It is part of their effort to learn physics laws. And guiding the lesson is Dr. Liu Yuyan, the founder and the principal of Camford Royal School in Northwest Beijing. It is rare in China for a school principal to also give lectures. But Liu says he's doing all he can to guarantee his students a unique but leading secondary education in China. Observing the Chinese education in, in the recent uh, 60 years, I think we have a great difficulty to uh, cultivate great outstanding scientists or great inventor. So uh, I examined the problems and collected curriculum from the Western education and realized probably we can introduce A-level or AP advanced placement courses to uh, teaching students creativity through American and uh, Western you know, courses. Founded in 2008, Camford now has more than 500 students who receive a Western-based education to get ready for university studies abroad. Under the research-based teaching strategy, students here are divided into groups where they work together to solve problems and learn skills. Liu requires his teachers to talk as little as possible and leave the stage to the students. He also encourages students to ask questions and even argue with their classmates when they disagree. Working in groups also helps to develop teamwork. For our teaching philosophy, you know, we have certain points. Right? The, uh, if we think about two points, the most important points, that is, you know, uh, try to cultivate students' thinking skill, something like you know, critical thinking, creative thinking, right? And so they be able to ask in questions and investigate questions and solve the questions. Right. The second part is we uh, we have to be able to build a moral quality of the students. Otherwise, if they have knowledge or if they have power for creativeness, and if they do something wrong, something you know harmful to the society, that will be a disaster for people or for the society. An education that Chinese students don't usually receive in public schools, but they get it here at Camford. When 16-year-old student Yi Yang was at a public school, he used to hate studying and he was at the bottom of his class. Now he's one of the top students at Camford. I was learning quite passively when I was in public school, where teachers teach and students take notes like robots. And you have to deal with a big load of homework, otherwise you cannot keep up with your classmates. But here I need to preview my work and then tell others what I have learned by myself and discuss it in the class. His parents say they never imagined their son would enjoy studying. My son has become more self-dependent and better at handling interpersonal relationships. He's also studying much more actively, becoming more considering and caring, especially to me and his mom. By working in groups, he has realized that he can benefit more by helping others than merely taking from others. An increasing number of Chinese parents are sending their children to schools like Camford to get ready for university studies abroad. Students here not only learn critical thinking, spirit of teamwork, but life lessons as well. That's rare in a country where most public schools focus mainly on exam and test scores. Under China's current education system, students study hard, reading from textbooks, working out complicated mathematical equations, and reciting literature. There's also a lot of homework. All the hard work is aimed at scoring high on the Gaokao, China's standardized university entrance exam, which determines which post-secondary school students can apply to. But such a system doesn't necessarily leave much room for critical and creative thinking. It's much more effective.
to set up situations so that students have the aha moment of, of discovery. And Camford does a very, very good job of that. It's very democratic in a way, where, where really the student is as important as a teacher in the classroom, and arguably the student is more important, as I said, the student is more important than the teacher. Back in the classroom, Yiyan is having some problems with the physics question. Leo is giving him some hints so that he can continue his presentation. At the same time, students are asking questions about his report. It seems like they are giving him a hard time, but Liu says it's only through questioning and defending that students can learn good skills. It's a process of structuring learning by themselves, and it could also provide China's current education a different way of learning. Pambo, CCTV, Beijing.